Hey there, my name is Anthony Romano, and in this video I'm going to tell you about how Vince Gironda, the golden era bodybuilding coach and trainer of celebrities and actors throughout the 60s, 70s, and beyond, was the pioneer of the ketogenic dieting methods that are gaining so much popularity in 2019. So, in case you're, this is your first time on my page, I talk a lot about the ketogenic diet and bodybuilding, and fasting, and other techniques, and carb manipulation, other tactics like that in the bodybuilding context. And the person who really started all this in a bodybuilding side of things, because perhaps you're on my page because there's nobody who else, else who really talks about keto and bodybuilding particularly, the person who started all that was Vince Gironda. Perhaps you came to my channel because you've seen the collaborations that I'm working on with the Golden Era Bookworm. So, in case you're unaware of who Golden Era Bookworm is on YouTube, this guy is absolutely the best source on the internet, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, for anything classic fitness training, classic bodybuilding, Golden Era, Silver Era, Bronze Era, anything that is the ancient relics. Carlos from Golden Era Bookworm just absolutely has it. So make sure you check out his videos and also the collaborations we're working on, which is what I'm also here to promote in one way or another. So this video is going to be talking about the links between the generalized links between Vince Gironda and Keto, but I'm also going to talk about you know that the series that the Golden Era Bookworm and I are working on, which essentially is bringing in these methods and the connections between Vince Gironda's discoveries and tying them to modern science. So oftentimes this is going to deal with ketogenic dieting, particularly because this is what Vince had really nailed and it's just popping off nowadays. And Vince was realistically the pioneer of, of all this, especially with the carb manipulation. So first to bring you some more context here, because maybe this is newer for you. Vince was a heavy believer in fats as an energy source. He was also a heavy believer in carb manipulation being the key to allowing you to fully dive into fats as a fuel source. And he was also a believer in white t-shirts with really deep round necks, <laughs> which was clearly a fantastic choice stylistically. <laughs> so he had a great fashion sense as well, clearly. <laughs> no, uh, I'm just having too much fun. Basically, Vince Gironda, was, in case you're unaware, this guy was the genius. He was literally the Iron Guru. That was his name, his nickname. He trained Arnold. He trained movie stars. There's His influence was literally to the extent that whenever new bodybuilders were brought in by Joe Weider in the 70s, the first place they would be taken to was Vince's gym. So that is the context for those of you who are unaware. And I want to introduce this idea to you because... I'm a big believer in following the people who are the best in their field. That is how I like to conduct a lot of my research and I'll use them as a centerpiece. Vince Gironda was absolutely a centerpiece of bodybuilding. And this also ties into low carb dieting. To give you the context, if you've never done any low carb dieting or ketogenic dieting, essentially opposed to a lot of the techniques we have nowadays, the reason why keto is gaining so much popularity is because rather than having to count all your calories all the time or being precise with your macro intake and counting and weighing every single gram of food, which I still am precise with keto and a lot of people are, the ketogenic diet allows you to tap into the homeostatic mechanisms where your appetite, your blood sugar, your blood insulin, your leptin, other hormonal processes follow suit due to your body instinctively tapping in to these mechanisms. Essentially, low carb mode, ketosis, puts you in that state where the rest of your body follows suit, hormonally and with other mechanisms in play. So Vince Gironda was absolutely ahead of the curve with this. Vince would study medical journals and he would study 
journals on even the most bizarre things. He would study journals on burn patients and how they healed. He would study uh, study. He would look at studies with epileptic children if that's how he looked at any sort of ketogenic methods, right? I'm assuming that's where he got it from, because realistically, at his time, there was no way for him to un reveal or reveal uncover the ketogenic mechanisms at that time besides looking at medical journals so the point of all of this is if you're unaware of who, of who vince Geron is or if you're unaware of ketogenic dieting the link between the two is very strong and i will be releasing videos on my page dealing more into this but as far as what you need to take away from this video it's that keto dieting has been around and it's been tested by the most elite bodybuilders of our generation. I have a video on all golden era bodybuilders were ketogenic, which you can watch as well, and it deals heavily with this. But if you want the most precise content linking Vince Gironda and keto dieting, you have to go to Golden Era Bookworm's channel and check out the video series we're putting out. The first one we dropped is on targeted ketogenic dieting, and this is through one of Vince's diets called the US Air Force Diet. So essentially, we're going to be dropping more videos in that series, breaking down Vince's diets, breaking down his other techniques and how they relate to keto dieting and modern science sur surrounding the fat adapted state, surrounding other things that people who are really into keto may know. But there are a lot of misconceptions surrounding keto. So this is why I'm going to make little micro videos on these topics on my page. And what you have to remember from this, as far as what this video is for, it's that there's a huge link between Vince Gironda and Keto, and this guy was the, the godfather of all the classic bodybuilders. You know, there's a reason why in the Rocky movies you see him crack open multiple eggs right away and pound it for breakfast. That's literally one of Vince's techniques, and he was training <laughs> the bad guy in that movie, uh, Carl Weathers, so Apollo Creed. So there's lots of influence from Vince Gironda that extends decades down the line, because this guy was able to see past so many other things that didn't even get brought up for decades afterwards. So let me know, do you want more micro analytical Vince Gironda keto videos on my page that will supplement the big chunks of ideas that we'll be presenting on Golden Era Bookworms page? Because obviously there's only so much that we can cover between the two of us and it would make a lot more sense for me to do little micro analyses of different little mechanisms that Vince had. So definitely you can expect those but if there's anything in particular let me know i also want to know if you came here more so for the keto stuff or if it's the combo of keto bodybuilding which i'm really hoping is what you're gonna <laughs> say that you came here for because that's going to be the centerpiece of all my content keto bodybuilding sometimes bits of both right leaning on one side or the other so that is it vince geronda is the pioneer he's the godfather of of course bodybuilding but also low carb techniques which need to rightfully be reintroduced to bodybuilding there are some people who still introduce these techniques but as i said my page exists because i am putting these techniques into modern bodybuilding modern bodybuilding has taken too much of a willy-nilly approach in my opinion and although you can do whatever diet you like etc etc it doesn't mean that we don't know how the human body works. And it's very clear that the human body works in a way that is very conducive to low carb dieting. Essentially, rather than weighing every single piece of food and counting every single calorie and making sure it, it all fits in the right way, which you can still do on keto, what keto will do is it will automize all of that. Basically, opposed to being so precise and robotic it's like your body will adjust these homeostatic mechanisms these your leptin your blood sugar your blood insulin all these other hunger factors will follow suit once you start a ketogenic diet and this is something that vince geronda was aware of whether he knew the keto terminology or not at the time or maybe he was just holding back from saying it because it was something that was simply in medical journals that was really the only way he would have found out about these methods in the first place, which he obviously did because some of his phrasing in his classic works will say things like, in order to tap into fat as a fuel source, you have to restrict carbohydrates. He would say things like that. So this is another link between how Vince is the godfather of even the ketogenic dieting methods. 
So I'm going to break those more down in the future. This video is to, here to show you the link between the two and to reintroduce the idea that low carb methods are very useful in bodybuilding. And if you ever look at any of Vince's bulking plans, they were very low carb. A lot of them were. Some of them had more carb in place, but for the most part, they were very low carb routines. But I'll get into that in other videos, especially the ones that Golden Era Bookworm and I will be producing on his page. So make sure you check them out. This guy is the absolute best authority on Golden Era training. I'm serious. I've been watching the really the way that I started. We started the collabs was because I had been watching his page since the the start of of his page. Basically, funny enough, last year around this time I had gotten injured and I just was you know laying down. I couldn't walk. I hurt my ankle and I was just binging Golden Era Bookworm videos. And then a year later I hit him up essentially to have a, over this collab idea and. It seemed to have worked pretty well. So we're going to be diving more into these things and more so the big ideas, right? Even the big things that Vince predicted. Example, he predicted targeted keto diets. We're going to see other things down the line of how his steak and eggs diet seems to, at least in my opinion, definitely predict the fat adaption mechanisms, whether it explicitly states that or not. So we're going to get into other topics like that, which you should absolutely stay tuned on and follow Carlos's page, aka Golden Era Bookworm. And beyond that, let me know what you want me to talk about because, as, especially as far as it relates to Vince Gironda and keto dieting, but this is my goal and it should fulfill my goal to link the two, link keto and bodybuilding in a concrete way through a authority in the nutritional bodybuilding fields, right? Vince Gironda. So that's going, going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching. Go to my website, make sure you go to Carlos's channel, Golden Era Bookworm. And even if you're somebody who's only into the modern bodybuilding and stuff, this is the the, the relics. This is the, the ancient civilizations of bodybuilding, if you will. This is how everything all started, okay? And there's definitely a lot of wisdom in how these things started because it's not obscured by, you know, we did a study where we had people do X number of repetitions. It's not like that. These are tried and true methods from the people who were starting everything. And that's, there's a lot of merit in that. So go check them out and subscribe, like the video. Stay tuned for more keto bodybuilding. Peace.